वेलकम टू रैपिड फायर क्विज नंबर फोर दीज आर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड द सिलेबस ऑफ दिस रैपिड फायर क्विज आई वांट यू टू पॉज दिस वीडियो फॉर नाउ एंड आई वांट यू टू रीड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड द सिलेबस ऑफ दिस रैपिड फायर क्विज बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद दिस क्विज सो पॉज दिस वीडियो रीड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड द सिलेबस आई होप यूर डॉन ओके all the very best for this quiz here comes the first question and your time starts now stop The correct option is option B. Local variables, function arguments, and return address. It is clear that the information which is typically stored in the activation record of the stack are local variables, function arguments, and return address. Now let's move to question number two, and your time starts now. stop the correct option is option b this code snippet is clearly showing the indirect recursion function 1 is calling function 2 and function 2 is calling function 1 this means this is the indirect recursion now let's move to question number 3 and your time starts now stop this one is easy the correct option is option b the activation record is popped from the call stack whenever a function returns the activation record of that function is popped from the call stack this is what we learned now let's move to question number 4 and your time starts now stop the correct option is option c we learned one thing about the space complexity that the maximum number of activation records is same as the depth of recursion so it is always the case whenever we talk about the activation records it depends on the depth of recursion and not the number of function calls so option c is clearly the correct option now let's move to question number 5 and your time starts now stop the correct option is option d the maximum depth of recursion stack the space complexity of a recursive function is same as the maximum depth of the recursion stack now let's move to question number 6 and your time starts now stop the correct option is option b big o of n we have been told to find the space complexity of a recursive function that performs a single recursive call in each function execution in each function execution there will be only a single recursive call and if we are assuming the problem size is n 
clearly big O of n will be the space complexity because the depth of recursion will be n. So, this option is the correct option. Now, let's move to question number 7. And your time starts now. Stop. The correct option is option A, big O of n. Even though the branching factor is 2, this means the function calls itself twice in each call, the space complexity remains same, it is big O of n because the maximum depth, that is the depth of recursion, remains n. If you are assuming the size of the problem is n. Now let's move to question number 8 and your time starts now. Stop. The correct option is option B. Space for the data structures used. In the question, we have been asked which term in the space complexity calculation accounts for memory used by local variables, arrays, or other data structures in a recursive function. We know the space complexity is the sum of the space for the data structures used and the depth of the recursion. Here, the term which accounts for memory used by the local variables, arrays, or other data structures is the space for the data structures used. So, clearly, option B is the correct option. Now, let's move to question number 9. And your time starts now. Stop. The correct option is option A. Each recursive call uses big O of one space and there are n levels of recursion. We already know the space complexity of the factorial function which is big O of n. And the reason is that each recursive call uses big O of one space and there are n levels of recursion. This means the depth of recursion is n. Now let's move to question number 10. And your time starts. Now. Stop. The correct option is option D, big O of n square. If an algorithm uses an auxiliary array of size n and if the recursion depth is also n, then the space complexity will be big O of n square. Now let's move to question number 11 and your time starts now. Stop. The correct option is option B, big O of n. The space complexity of a recursive algorithm for computing the nth Fibonacci number is big O of n. We learned this already. How to find the nth Fibonacci number and what is the space complexity of the function which helps us in computing the nth Fibonacci number and that too the recursive function. The space complexity is big O of n. Now let's move to question number 12. And your time starts now.
stop. The correct option is option A, we go of 1. It is clear from this function that there is only one function call, hence there is only one activation record in the stack. Also, we do not have any complex data structure like array in this function. Therefore, this overall space complexity will be big O of 1, which is constant. Now, let's move to question number 13. And your time starts now. Stop. The correct option is option B, big O of n. This is the recursive function. We can observe the sum is calling itself within its own body. Also, we can observe the depth of recursion is n. Therefore, the space complexity is big O of n. Now, let's move to question number 14. This is the last question of this rapid fire quiz, and your time starts now. Stop. The correct option is option D, big O of n cube. Here we have the 3D array, a three dimensional array. The size of this array is n times n times n, which is n cube. Hence, it will take memory equivalent to n cube. Therefore, the space complexity is big O of n cube. We are done with all the problems of this rapid fire quiz. I hope you got all of them correct. I hope you have noted down your scores as well. Now, I want you to post your scores in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking this quiz. I'll see you in the next one.